over just the past week in the city of Los Angeles and in cities and areas surrounding us is unacceptable, and today we are here to announce regional action. Today we're here to announce Multi-Agency Organized Retail Crimes Task Force, coordinated between the LAPD, represented today by Assistant Chiefs Choi and Labrada, as well as Deputy Chief Pitcher, the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department, represented today by Sheriff Luna, and Glendale Police Department, represented by Chief Sid. The task force also includes the Burbank Police Department, Beverly Hills, Santa Monica, as well as our state partners at the CHP and our federal partners at the U.S. Marshal's Office and the FBI. This approach, this regional approach, is consistent with how we have been operating in every facet of this administration coordinated, unified, and urgent to address the serious issues that we face. Our number one job is to keep Angelino safe and to feel safe. When incidents of brazen theft and robbery occur, it shatters that feeling of safety. These are not victimless crimes, especially in the case where Angelinos are attacked through force or fear. No Angelino should feel like it is not safe to go shopping in Los Angeles. No entrepreneur should feel like it's not safe to open a business in Los Angeles. So to Angelinos, our message is clear. Those who commit these crimes will be caught, they will be held accountable, and we will work to address this issue. And I just want to say the leaders behind me, this is not the first time they've come together with a task force to address issues like this. They did it when it seemed like there were follow home robberies every day in 2021. There was concentrated, aggressive, and a collaborative approach. A similar task force was formed, and after arrests were made, these robberies essentially stopped. That's exactly what will happen this time. Now, I have a word for Angelinos who find themselves in a store during one of these operations. Do not take the law into your own hands. Be safe. Call 911 and stay clear. Many times people's first reaction, as I learned from our chief that you'll hear from, from Glendale, instead of taking your phone out to take pictures, take your phone out and call 911. And if you have any information, we are also announcing a hotline for anyone with information to share it. Angelinos can call 811-374-9420. During non-business hours or on the weekends, calls should be directed to 877-527-3247. I again want to thank the leaders behind me for standing together to address this issue. And again, I want to be clear. This is just one way we are addressing public safety. We've allocated more money for our police department in the budget. We're also working to help LAPD address hiring and recruitment with the new contract. And all of these efforts are because the partnerships with leaders from the city council and I look to work forward, look forward to continuing to work together because again, the number one job for myself and other elected officials is to keep Los Angeles and Angelino safe. With that, I'd like to introduce Assistant Chief LAPD Dominique Choi. Thank you, Mayor. Good morning, everyone. Uh, I'd like to just begin by thanking Mayor Bass for her support of public safety within the city and also for her support of our law enforcement partners, few of which are here today. Uh, as you all know, in recent weeks, the city and regionally uh, has seen widely publicized um, acts of um, flash mobs, flash robs, um, and these are groups of criminals targeting large and small retail locations alike uh, with the intent to overwhelm security measures that are in place, including their security guards. Um, and they take large amounts of merchandise. And sometimes this merchandise is in excess of hundreds of thousands of dollars. These criminals use weapons or simulated weapons. They use intimidation techniques um, to take this merchandise. Um, you know, in each of these acts, they take just a little bit away from our peace of mind, for our sense of safety in the community, um, and our sense of security when we want to go out and do shopping at our retail communities. The Los Angeles Police Department will not tolerate these acts. Um, the Los Angeles, uh, we will not stand by idly uh, while these acts continue, and neither will our law enforcement partners or the city. 
Uh, I'd like to thank our law enforcement partners uh, for their continued um, commitment uh, to dealing and working together in task force to reduce or actually eliminate these crimes. Um, as we know, these criminals, they don't dis distinguish between city borders and county borders, um, and so we need this task force to effectively address this issue. Um, and to stop it and hold people accountable for these crimes, uh, we've established a multi-agency organized retail theft task force um, and uh, for the LA region. Uh, this task force we, will be led by the Los Angeles Police Department uh, Commercial Crimes Division. It, it will include, include investigators from the LA County Sheriff's, Glendale Police Department, Burbank Police Department, Beverly Hills Police Department, Santa Monica Police Department, and the California Highway Patrol. And we also have our federal partners involved in this. Uh, additionally, prosecutors are going to be embedded into this uh, task force, which includes the Los Angeles County District Attorney's Office, the Los Angeles City Attorney's Office, as well as the California Attorney General's Office. This task force will respond in an organized manner, day and night, seven days a week, with the full scope of investigative resources to compile evidence for successful filings and prosecutions. And not just of those people stealing this merchandise, but of those that are buying and selling this merchandise, because I think we all know if a deal is too good to be true, then it is. Uh, so the recommendation is stay with your authorized retailers for this high-end merchandise. Um, and, that, and on that point, I'd like to turn it over now to Assistant Chief Alabrada for some additional comments. Muy buenos días. Voy a dar unos mensaje, un mensaje en español y después de concluir uh, esta, esta prensa puedo dar otros uh, comentarios personales y tener respuestas. Muy buenos días. Para comenzar me gustaría agradecer la alcaldesa de Mayor Bass que, no, que les, realmente ha asistido en poniendo a ese grupo de oficiales y, y trayendo a todos los líderes que tienes aquí enfrente de ustedes hoy para hablar acerca de ese problema que tenemos en la ciudad. Así como nuestros compañeros que hoy nos acompañan, en las últimas semanas se han publicado El, el nivel y ampliamente de la región de Los Ángeles ha estado por los incidentes que hemos tenido en la comunidad en la intención de robar grandes cantidades de mercancía en nuestra ciudad y en otras partes de la ciudad y el condado. Estos delincuentes usan armas para intimidar y robar mercancía y a veces valorado en cientos de miles de dólares que roban de esos locales. Con cada uno de esos actos también roban la tranquilidad protección y seguridad de poder comprar a estas tiendas de nuestros líderes y nuestros comunitarios residentes. El Departamento de Policía de Los Ángeles y nuestros compañeros están aquí porque no podremos y estamos parados con las manos a bra brazos cruzados esperando que pase la otra incidente, pase el otro incidente. Agradecemos a nuestros compañeros aquí presentes por su apoyo y compromiso a la seguridad pública. Ese grupo de oficiales ha sido creado para impactar estos delitos de crimen organizados en la ciudad de Los Ángeles y en el condado de Los Ángeles también. El objetivo hoy es brindar tranquilidad a nuestros residentes y a comunidad. Ese grupo de se trabajó, se va a dirigir por el departamento, por el departamento de la policía, la división de delitos comerciales, y va a incluir investigadores del departamento del condado del Aguacil, El Condado de Los Ángeles, el Departamento de Policía de Glendale, Policía de Burbank, Policía de Beverly Hills y otros varios departamentos de policía que van a asistir en las investigaciones. Adicionalmente, los fiscales de la Oficina del Fiscal, Distrito del Condado de Los Ángeles, la Oficina del Fiscal de la Ciudad de Los Ángeles y la Oficina del Fiscal General de California serán parte de este grupo, el cual responderán a esos delitos de crímenes a cualquier hora que ocurran organizándose día y noche con un, un completo recurso de investigación para recopilar estas pruebas para asegurar que se investiguen todos esos casos y presentar esos casos al fiscal, no solo a aquellos que roban los productos, sino también de quienes venden y compran esos productos ilegalmente. El mensaje para la comunidad hoy es importante. Si la compra de un artículo parece ser demasiado bueno, parece ser, no, no, no va a ser verdad. Probablemente, si lo es, siempre es más seguro comprar de un local o una tienda autorizada. 
Gracias, y ahora voy a pasar la palabra al sub subjefe Chris Pitcher, que va a hablar acerca de los delitos que tuvimos en la ciudad y, y lo que se va a hacer por parte de la ciudad. Lo que sí quiero dar antes de concluir es el número del hotline que va, se va a ofrecer, 877-LAPD-247, o el Crime Stoppers, 800-222-8477. 8477. Puede ser anónimas los reportes en este caso. Now I'll turn it over to uh, Deputy Chief Chris Pitcher, who will talk about our efforts in the city with the task force, and then more importantly, the four incidents that we've had recently in the city of LA. I'll turn it over to Chris Pitcher. So good morning. I am uh, Deputy Chief Chris Pitcher. I am the Chief of Detectives for the Los Angeles Police Department. And in that, I oversee investigations and investigative efforts throughout the city. Um, to the rear of you is my partner, uh, Commander Jay Mastic. He is the individual that we have tabbed to oversee the day-to-day -day operations of this very significant task force that we are bringing to you today. Under the, uh, the direction of Mayor Karen Bass and Chief Michael Moore, the Los Angeles Police Department has developed and will be implementing the Retail Organized Crime Task Force that draws from internal resources from the LAPD and external resources from a variety of departments that you have heard already mentioned, as well as prosecutors um, and the retail community um, that basically is in the city of Los Angeles. But so what got us here? What got us here were a series of very serious and critical incidents that occurred and impacted the city's uh, retailers. First and foremost, and I'm going to start by discussing these incidents, the last incident that occurred on August 15th occurred at the Kasubi store on La Brea Avenue. And it was a flash mob slash flash rob incident um, that occurred on August 15th at about 1855 hours where Wilshire patrol officers responded to a radio call of a robbery in progress at the Kasubi store on 132 South La Brea Avenue. It's a high-end clothing store um, that appeals to youth and young adults. Minutes prior to closing, 11 suspects entered that store wearing hooded sweatshirts and some wearing masks. They rushed the store, the individuals inside, and started removing clothing um, and other uh, items from the displays. Two unarmed security guards attempted to intervene, and ultimately one of the male suspects simulated a handgun um, in his pocket and threatened that security guard to back off. The property taken was miscellaneous items and clothing uh, valued over $100,000. They were in and out in a matter of minutes. On August, uh, August 12th, 2023, at about 1,600 hours, a flash rob style incident occurred in the valley at the Nordstrom in the Westfield Topanga Shopping Center on 21725 Victory Boulevard in Canoga Park. In this incident, more than 30 individuals entered the store together and immediately within minutes grabbed over $300,000 worth of merchandise, ranchacking shelves, display um, type tables and racks in the process. The suspects were wearing ski masks and, and hoodies. They fled the, the location once again with over $300,000, but in doing so, they had confronted a security guard and sprayed the individual with what was later determined to be bear spray, incapacitating him and ultimately allowing the other um, 30 individuals to complete that robbery. They fled the location in various vehicles and, and took off. On July 3rd of 2023, at approximately 1,600 hours, four suspects entered the Westfield Century City Mall's Bloomingdale's um, retail store located at 10250 Santa Monica Boulevard in West Los Angeles, um, part of the city. Suspects wearing hooded sweatshirts and masks entered that location, ran into the store, removed numerous handbags and other items from the store display. They ran out of that store without paying 
and fled the, uh, the location in a silver four-door Toyota Camry unknown plate vehicle. All items taken were Gucci handbags totaling around $32,000. And on July 31st of 2023, at approximately 15.30 hours, approximately 10 to 15 suspects entered the Westfield Century City Mall, the Gucci store, um, located at 10250 Santa Monica Boulevard, and all of the suspects, approximately 18 to 25 years of age, wearing hooded sweatshirts and masks, entered the store, removed the merchandise from the ski ra uh, the, the uh, racks and store displays, and within minutes left that store with all of the merchandise with a total loss of about $100,000. So in an effort to address this critical trend that is impacting the city of Los Angeles, the retail community, this department has organized a task force, and here is the nuts and bolts of that task force. We have 22 assigned full-time investigators that will work 24-7, seven days a week. They will be responding to incidents day and night to conduct full investigations to start those incidents and to follow up on every available lead that we have from ground zero all the way through the end of that incident. We have three separate individual surveillance and apprehension teams that will be working with this task force to conduct surveillance operations and ultimately apprehension operations of all of the suspects that we identify and ultimately re receive probable cause to make an arrest on. They will be out there tailing and doing all of that work. We have one district attorney that will be embedded with this task force. They will be reviewing the cases, the search warrants, the filings, and ultimately the operations. They will be working with us to ensure appropriateness, legality, and ultimately that we're taking advantage of every legal means possible to make the arrest and then keep them into custody. And then last, we have two investigators from the district attorney's office that will be committed to this task force to help us um, in those investigations. Participating in this uh, externally will be sworn investigators from Glendale, Burbank, Beverly Hills, Santa Monica Police Departments, as well as the California Highway Patrol and the Attorney General's office to participate with us in addition to city attorneys from the Los Angeles City Attorney's Office to round this effort out to take advantage of a network of information and of investigative steps that we have taken and ultimately to bring this together, not to make this an LAPD-centric um, investigative effort, but also to all of the other um, entities that service the Los Angeles County region. And we will be working effectively to go out to immediately identify, to arrest these individuals, to serve immediate search warrants, and to apprehend them, and to bring them in custody and put them before the prosecutors to ultimately um, obtain justice for this. The task force is going to be centralized. We are going to house this task force out of the valley since the majority of these incidents have occurred in the San Fernando Valley in the west portion of the city of Los Angeles. They will be at a location in the valley and ultimately responding from there literally um, all days through the business day and then nights they will be on on-call status. We are going to be using all applicable technology during this task force. We will be using the cell tower dumps, computer information. We have cyber investigators that will be working with us. We will be performing link analysis um, investigations tying these individuals together. We will be using various databases throughout the county, the state, and ultimately nationally to assist us in our investigations. We will be using informants to ultimately work both the front end and the back end of these investigations. And we will be working and using the collective strengths and information of all participating agencies, both not only law enforcement, 
but also the retail. We will be using La Orca, the Los Angeles Area Organized Retail Crimes Association, their investigators, the tips that, that they receive, as you can see to the left of me and to the right of me, we have established tip lines that are already up and operating that you can reach out um, anonymously, you can call in um, and, and get a live person on the other end and ultimately submit videos, tips, um, and anything that you would like via the website that's, that's laid out there. So the other question is zero bail going to impact this task force operation? Well, from what we're seeing, we're looking at robberies. We're looking at chargeable offenses as robberies. And in today's bail schedule, those individuals once charged with robberies, they will be held in jail. If it does drop to a grand theft, there are chances they may be released um, on bail, but we will be working with the prosecutors very carefully to appropriately charge these individuals in each one of these cases um, to make sure that they are held to the greatest extent possible that we're allowed to do so by law. So at that point in time, you have the task force, the nuts and bolts, and ultimately where we are going to go with this uh, task force right now, and it is effective as of last night. So I'm gonna turn it back over to, to, the to the mayor. Yes, and as you know, one of the crimes took place in the unincorporated area of East Los Angeles. Uh, here to, to address that is Los Angeles County Sheriff Luna. Thank you all and good morning uh, for being here. Uh, I, I too wanna thank uh, Mayor Bass and Chief Moore uh, who I've been communicating with all week uh, regarding the crimes that have been described to you uh, that have occurred uh, not only over the last week, uh, but it's something that a lot of our agencies have been working on for the last uh, several weeks. And uh, we, as the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department, uh, will be part of this task force that you're hearing so much about this morning. Uh, we're very happy to participate in it. Uh, for us, uh, just like our counterparts or our brothers and sisters standing around us, uh, we didn't just start this today. Uh, we've been dealing, unfortunately, with these uh, issues uh, almost for the last year plus. So uh, at the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department, we have had a, uh, an existing uh, group of investigators who have been doing a really good job and working with other departments uh, around us. But uh, before I get to my, my comments, I, I do want to stress something to all of your viewers. Um, we're not only focused on the individuals who are walking into these stores uh, and committing the crimes that we see on video, uh, but if you are supporting them logistically, either by uh, being a driver, uh, uh, harboring them, uh, buying merchandise, selling merchandise, you're in this chain. Uh, and we're gonna do everything we can to make sure that we hold you accountable uh, because you are impacting our community. Uh, and that's what we're all doing here today, to make sure that everybody knows we have a united front uh, and we are gonna respond, we're gonna investigate, uh, we're gonna turn over the best cases that we can uh, to the district attorney's office or whoever else we have to, to make sure, again, that uh, people get held uh, accountable. Um, please know that as we're talking about this, uh, and it's been very well articulated, if you can imagine for a second uh, what we're doing to our business community here uh, in Los Angeles County. Uh, literally, uh, people are talking about packing up and leaving. We don't want you to leave. Uh, this is one of the greatest places on this earth. Uh, people come here to vacation. We want you to feel secure uh, in uh, selling your merchandise, uh, when you're shopping to go out there and feel safe. And that's, again, what we're all doing here today uh, collectively. But please, as a reminder, we don't want people to lose their jobs because shops are closing up because of these type of crimes. That's how serious we are all taking this. Specifically to the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department, our major crimes bureau, burglary, robbery task force, 
are very focused in identifying and targeting organized retail theft crews uh, that you've heard so much about today. Uh, there are no jurisdictional boundaries uh, when it comes to these crimes, and that's why it's absolutely necessary that all of us, no matter what uniform we're wearing, we are communicating and coordinating uh, so we can apprehend the individuals that are doing this. Uh, from the fall of 2021 through August 16th, the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department is aware of at least 170 organized retail thefts in our jurisdictions, which do include smash and grabs, flash mobs, and grab and goes. Uh, that's what we're focused on here today. Uh, as of January 1st, 2023, uh, one of our local shoe stores in the East Los Angeles area, apparel store, uh, was the victim several dozen times of grand theft uh, in the last six months, totaling approximately $83,000. Uh, uh, in that store, uh, we currently have at least 22 active cases. We have 20 pending cases. We have made 16 arrests, and there are three additional cases where the suspects have been identified, and these cases are being submitted to the Los Angeles County District Attorney's Office for their filing consideration. Uh, in June of this year, the East Los Angeles Sheriff's Station uh, Crime Enforcement Team, along with our major uh, Crimes Bureau, conducted a two-day operation and made 12 arrests, uh, nine felonies and three misdemeanor arrests. $2,700 worth of goods were recovered and returned to the local businesses, along with two stolen vehicles that were recovered and one assault weapon that was seized. That's important to realize that a lot of the individuals committing these crimes are also involved in probably other crimes. Uh, yesterday afternoon, this particular store had three thefts roughly in an hour apart from each other. Uh, at 12.30 p.m., uh, two female black suspects entered the, at the store and stole approximately $1,200 worth of clothing. Of clothing, that is an active investigation. At about, uh, about an hour or so later, Six male suspects entered the store and stole roughly uh, nearly $4,000 worth of clothing and shoes. This is also an active investigation. At approximately 2.37 p.m., uh, the two male suspects and two female suspects uh, entered the store and stole approximately $3,500 worth of clothing and shoes. And our uh, Aero Bureau quickly responded to the area where they were able to locate the suspect vehicle with the assistance uh, of our East Los Angeles Sheriff's Station deputies. They were able to locate the suspect vehicle and coordinate a traffic stop at the 105 freeway and Paramount exit. The six individuals in the vehicle were positively identified and detained as suspects in the theft. Um, they were arrested and taken into custody for grand theft um, and conspiracy. Uh, so we will do everything we can to work with the district attorney's office to make sure that these individuals get held uh, accountable and like the deputy chief from Los Angeles said um, you've heard me talk about the zero bail issue uh, this is something that we as a community are going to have to deal with uh, as we look at these type of crimes uh, to make sure that we're holding the right people accountable that we're incarcerating the right people and uh, furthermore uh, so again I just want to thank everybody who's involved uh, in everything that we're doing here uh, we are a big part of this task force throughout LA County. If it goes beyond LA County, we'll reach out to our partners in other counties with state officials and federal officials. And um, we need to keep the pressure on. Uh, we intend to do that uh, collectively. And I really thank all of you for being here to cover this story. I think it's very important. Uh, and with that, I'm going to introduce, I believe, uh, uh, Chief Sid uh, from the Glendale Police Department. Thank you, Sheriff. Good morning, everyone, and thank you uh, for taking the time to be here. As has been stated uh, numerous times, but I think it bears repeating, let me begin by assuring all the members of the Glendale community, as well as the broader LA region, that these brazen, brazen smash and grab type robbery, thefts, burglaries, what have you, will not be tolerated uh, across our region or in any of our communities. The Glendale Police Department, in collaboration with our law enforcement partners, many of which are here present today, will work tirelessly to bring all our resources to bear to identify, arrest, and bring to justice any individuals participating or benefiting from these criminal acts. I'd like to thank Chief Moore and the LAPD for their leadership in the formation of this organized retail theft task force. 
to Sheriff Luna and the Sheriff's Department for their support and partnership. Uh, the presence of the many community leaders that I think you see here today, uh, both law enforcement and elected officials, I think speaks clearly uh, as an indication uh, that we stand united in this mission. Uh, I'd like to thank Mayor Bass uh, for her support in prioritizing public safety, not only in the city of Los Angeles, but across our region. Specifically regarding the two incidents involving the city of Glendale, on August 2nd, during the early morning hours, we experienced a group of approximately a dozen individuals wearing hoods, masks, gloves, attempt to break in and burglarize the Gucci store at the Americana at Brand. Fortunately, due to an excellent response on that night by our police officers, this attempt was unsuccessful and the suspects could not gain access to the uh, location and ultimately fled the location. Unfortunately, during the late afternoon of August 8th, a group of over 30 suspects, again dressed in hoods, masks, and gloves, flooded the Yves Saint Laurent store, again at the Americana at Brand. As uh, had been widely covered at this point by the media, the flash mob style group overwhelmed the store and ultimately fled with over $400,000 in merchandise. The suspects loaded into about a dozen vehicles, many of which did not have license plates affixed to the vehicle and raced away. That entire event lasted about three minutes. Following this incident, Glendale police detectives and investigators immediately mobilized and got to work. Uh, their hard work over the last week, coupled with their talents, uh, have initiated the identification process of several uh, individuals connected uh, with these thefts, with this burglary at the YSL store uh, at the Americana. More specifically, Glendale police detectives have secured signed arrest and search warrants for two individuals believed to be part of the YSL smash and grab that occurred at the Americana. Just this morning, Glendale police detectives undertook an operation that saw us take into custody and execute a couple of those search warrants and one of its arrest warrants, ultimately taking into custody uh, an individual by the name of I Ivan Isaac Ramirez, a 23-year-old resident of the city of Los Angeles. He is currently being processed at the Glendale Police Department and is in our custody. As a part of that arrest, Glendale PD, along with our LAPD uh, partners, executed respective search warrants. During those search warrants, I can report back that uh, valuable evidentiary uh, items were found, uh, including firearms that were recovered uh, at one of the locations. A second suspect, Brianna Jimenez, 21 years old, also of the city of LA, is currently being sought by detectives and has an active arrest warrant, uh, again, for her arrest. We will uh, release booking photos and additional information on both these suspects later today. Again, this operation just occurred early this morning, just in the last couple of hours. This investigation is ongoing. The Glendale Police Department, uh, our detectives, our investigators, in conjunction with the task force that has been detailed here today, will continue to pursue this investigation. Um, looking for all of the individuals involved, uh, not only at our smash and grab at the YSL store at the Americana, but many of the incidents that have been detailed uh, here today. Rest assured, our work is not done here, not for the Glendale Police Department, nor uh, for this task force. This is truly just the beginning. There will be more arrests to come. Lastly, uh, as law enforcement leaders, we are taking comprehensive measures. I know I speak for all of my partners up here uh, in increasing our patrols and our presence around our retail centers and all our respective communities, collaborating with our business owners uh, to help them educate them uh, in regards to fortifying, fortifying uh, and really kind of hardening their target, preventing uh, or using preventative measures to hopefully deter these sorts of crimes from even occurring. Additionally, we call upon our community uh, for their assistance. Please refrain from buying, as has been touched on earlier, refrain from buying from unlicensed retail vendors or unverified social media sources. If you are present during one of these flash mob style thefts and or robberies, as the mayor touched on earlier, uh, being an observant witness is incredibly paramount in helping us do our job and do it effectively. We appreciate those who have provided tips or videos to help solve these cases. cases. Uh, but with that in mind, please prioritize calling 911 uh, immediately, uh, not just merely recording the incident. Given that many of these suspects are armed, Please do not engage them. It is incredibly dangerous. Call the police, let us respond, uh, and let us be effective in responding and deal with these individuals. Um, it's, it's our job. Uh, utilize your, your cell phones again and, and contact, contact us as quickly as possible. Uh, again, thank you all for being here. There will be uh, updates to follow in regards to the rest that I touched on, but I think now I will turn it over to Mayor Duff. All right, folks, we're gonna take questions first.